Next topic we are going to see is border plot. This is a very interesting portions. So it, it is uh, border plots also known as logarithmic plot. Uh, it is having two parts. One is the logarithm of the magnitude of the sinusoidal transfer functions that is uh, g j omega h j omega expressed in db decibel versus omega and the second one is the phase angle in degrees versus omega both plotted in log scale one magnitude and second is phase angle with respect to omega both plotted on log scale now <coughs> Uh, one advantage of border plot is that multiplication and division of magnitudes okay, can be converted into addition and subtraction respectively. You know that multiplication is normal in logarithmic. Uh, if you are taking the log of multiplication is additions. Log of division is subtractions. Both high frequency and low frequency. Another advantage is portions can be represented on the same graph because a wide range of frequencies can be represented on the same plot. So we are using logarithmic or semi log graph sheet. So we can have wide range of frequencies can be plotted on a same graph. Uh, and linear scale in the logarithmic scale, the linear scale on the linear scale on y axis yeah is used to represent magnitude in db or phase angle in degrees we are both magnitude in db as well as phase angle both we are representing it okay and uh, yes phase angle degrees and the logarithmic scale on x axis used to for frequency this is in for uh, page number 461. Another advantage of border plot is an approximate plot using straight line assumed dots can be drawn very quickly. Another advantage in border plot means you already know what is assumed dots. So what we can do is border plot approximate plot using a straight line assumed dot can be drawn very quickly and easily and correction can be made made later to obtain an accurate plot. Using absolute dot, you can draw an approximate plot. Later you can incorporate the corrections and you can get the actual plot. Border plots are very useful in the design of control system. Wherever it is not possible to obtain a transfer function of a system analytically, it can be determined from its magnitude border plot after conducting a frequency response test on the system and drawing the magnitude border plot. Now, logarithmic scale used for frequency in border plot has some interesting properties. One, one is we cannot locate the point omega is equal to zero your or on the log scale because since log zero is minus infinity and the frequency ratios are expressed in terms of uh, octaves and de uh, uh, decades and octave is a frequency point from omega one to two omega one if you are uh, yeah if you are representing the distance between omega one and and uh, another frequency omega 2 if the distance between those two are 2 then it is known as an octave or omega 1 to 2 omega 1 uh, if where omega 1 is the frequency on the logarithmic scale of semi log paper uh, if you are representing a frequency band from omega 1 to 10 omega 1 or first frequency and the second frequency is a dis uh, difference of 10 then 10 omega 1 then it is known as a decade 
frequency band of omega 1 to 10 omega 1 where omega 1 is the frequency then it is that frequency band is known as a decade on the logarithmic scale of semi log paper any frequency ratio can be represented by the same horizontal distance so if you are uh, that means a frequency ratio horizontal distance for example horizontal distance from omega is equal to 1 to omega is equal to 10 is equal to from omega is equal to 3 to omega is equal to 30 so the distance if you are taking a distance that it will be same okay so the mag the to express the magnitude of g g j omega h j omega in db take 20 log uh, magnitude of g j omega into h j omega so this first paragraph is very interest uh, easy to understand as well as, well as it is very important now next one is basic factors of g, uh, g j omega h omega and the main advantage of using logarithmic plot is the relative easy of plotting the frequency response curves the basic factors that very frequently occur in arbitrary transfer functions j j g j omega h j omega are as follows in in a transfer function you, you may get uh, we are uh, um, dividing or we are uh, analyzing different part of a transfer functions and finally we are assembling these all using the logarithmic logarithmic properties now in a transfer function you can have a gain k you can have a pole at the origin the pole at the origin pole means it will be in the denominator pole at the origin that means 1 by s is an integral factor so that time in the frequency domain it is represented 1 by j omega multiple poles at the origin that is 1 by j omega n the, these response is so in the previous case in, in the time analysis okay j omega n 0 at the origin when 0 is at the origin it is known as derivative factor pole is at the origin it is known as integral factor uh, when 0 at the origin it is j omega multiple zeros at the origin that is represented by j omega raised to n uh, factors of the form k divided by j omega all raised to r now first order poles on the real axis that is represented by 1 divided by 1 plus j omega t pole denominator multiple spawn uh, poles first order poles or multiple poles on the real axis that is 1 divided by 1 plus j omega t all raised to n first order 0 on the real axis that is 1 plus j omega t and multiple zeros on the real axis that is 1 plus j omega t all raised to n you know that pole is 1 divided by s plus 1 we represented like that but 0 means it will be in the numerator that is why it is represented like this now quadratic poles quadratic poles that is means if there is a yeah complex conjugate pole so like that in that case it will be 1 divided by 1 plus 2 psi j omega om divided by omega n plus j omega by omega n all raised to square that is 1 divided by quadratic 0 is 1 divided uh, 1 divided is not there the denominator as it is that is 1 plus 2 psi j omega by omega n plus j omega by omega n all square so we are uh, so here Uh, once this is very important once we become familiar with the logarithmic plot, plot, plots of these basic factors so we 
just now we go through is around the 12 basic factors it is possible to utilize them in constructing a composite logarithmic plot for any general form of j g j omega h j omega that means you know that normally transform function may contain maybe two or more the basic factors that already we explained before among that all so what happened is by sketching the curve for each factors and adding individual individual curves graphically so if you having two three factors then sketching individually and adding adding means it is multiply because adding in in the logarithm of the gains correspond to multiplying them together Ma adding the gains correspond to multiplying them together now when you are having a gain k a, a component that we already seen that uh, basic factors the factor is the gain k now if you are taking logarithm of k uh, and if the number greater than k is greater than unity then there is a positive value in db if it is 1 it is 0 if it is uh, between 0 if it is greater than 0 and less than 1 you are getting it as minus db and the angle okay the uh, the phase angle of gain k is zero so the phase plot is a straight line at a zero degree so that is then so when you are adding we will see how it happens if it is a factor then now next is the pole at the origin integral factor that is 1 divided by 1 by j omega the logarithmic magnitude of 1 divided by 1 j omega in db is and i taking this 20 log 1 divided by j omega is equal to magnitude of 1 divided by j omega is equal to it is equal to minus 20 log omega db 1 divided by anything if it will come minus 20 log omega so the magnitude of when omega is equal to 1 you have to substitute omega in this one that is minus 20 log 1 so it is also represented like this also don't confuse it it is nothing but magnitude logarithmic magnitude you assume that it is logarithmic magnitude minus 20 log 1 is equal to 0 db Okay, then you are substituting in this omega is equal to 1. When omega is equal to 0.1, you have to substitute omega as 0.1 in this equations. So, minus 20 log 0.1, that we can again write it as minus 20 log 1 by 10. So, 1 by 10, it is nothing but uh, plus 20 log 10. So, that is equal to plus 20 dB. <coughs> and if omega is equal to 10 that is the magnitude in logarithmic that is 1 by j omega magnitude is equal to you have to submit omega as 10 minus 20 log 10 is equal to minus 20 db log 10 is 1 so minus 20 you will get it now now if you are plotting this you know that at omega is 1 you are getting 0 db at a point 1 you are getting plus 20 db at omega is equal to 10 you are getting minus 20 db so it like this at omega is equal to 0 magnitude plot omega is equal to 0 yeah when uh, when omega is equal to 1 you are getting the uh, border plot is 0 
when omega is equal to 0.1, you are getting minus 20 dB per decade. Uh, at uh, omega is equal to minus 20, uh, no, sorry, omega is equal to 10, you are getting uh, border plot as minus 20. Once more, I will tell. When omega is 1, uh, the border plot of above basic factor is 0. When omega is 0.1, that time it is 20 dB. When omega is equal to 10, its value is minus 20 dB. For which factor? 1 by j omega. Now, the phase angle of that also very important the phase angle of 1 by j omega is constant and equal to minus 90 degree uh, shows the border plot of 1 divided by uh, j omega so it is you are getting it is a denominator term so it is a denominator term, term then there is a minus then uh, it is nothing but uh, tan inverse of minus tan inverse of omega uh, if you are taking like that you are getting it as minus it is constant minus 90 degree you are getting it so what you need to do is yeah this is 0 degree logarithmic log omega x axis omega degree and pi is in this angle so the phase angle can be pi is in this case a constant minus 90 degree Okay, now multiple pole at the origin. That is the next uh, basic factor. Next, uh, my, when multiple factor, so the log magnitude of 1 divided by j omega n in dB is uh, when you are taking the log, log of this 20 log 1 divided by j omega n is equal to. Uh, minus 20 log omega n again this n also you can take it to the front of log so it is equal to minus 20 n log omega now when omega is equal to 1 the magnitude in logarithm that is 1 divided by j omega n is equal to minus 20 n log 1 since log 1 is there it is equal to 0 db when omega is 0.1, the magnitude 1 divided by 1, 1 divided by j omega n is equal to minus 20 n log 0.1, that is equal to 20 n log 10, minus, so you are getting j 1 by, uh, omega is equal to 0.1, then you have to substitute in this, yes, minus 20 n log 0.1 okay so what happened is uh, this 0.1 can be represented 1 by 10 so that that you can say that log minus of log minus of 20 n into 1 by 10 is log 1 minus log 10 okay <coughs> so this is the basic factor you should understand that's already you are aware that for example uh, if for example minus 20 n log point 1 is equal to minus 20 n log inside that 1 by 10 okay point 1 1 by 10 this i can represent it as minus 20 n inside the bracket okay this i can write it as log 1 minus log 10 okay so this is becomes log 1 is minus 20 n okay log 1 is 0 minus log 10 now minus minus 
become plus plus 20n into log 10. So that is happening here. Minus 20n minus 20n log 0 1 is equal to plus 20n log 10. Now yeah yeah minus 20n log 10 log 10 is 1 so it is equal to plus 20n db similarly when omega is equal to 10 the magnitude of logarithmic magnitude of 1 divided by j omega raised to n is equal to minus 20n log 10 log 10 is nothing but 1 so it is equal to minus 20n and the phase angle of 1 by j omega n is constant and is equal to minus 90 degree multiplied by n. Now when you are plotting it, it is very similar to the previous one. But there is a multiplying factor that is when it is 0.1 you are, you are getting plus 20n and if it is uh, omega 10 it is minus 20n. So at uh, when um, omega is equal to 1 the the log log of above basic factor is 0 when omega is equal to point 0.1 this side is omega and and log of uh, yeah if omega is equal to point 0.1 then the corresponding um, Yeah, omega is equal to point 0.1. That time you are getting it uh, uh, minus 20 and dB per decade. When omega is equal to 10, oh, sorry, so when it is yeah when it is uh, when you are coming here in this case when omega is equal to 0 0.1 you are getting plus 20 and db so when omega is equal to 0 0.1 you are getting plus 20 and db when omega is equal to 10 you are getting minus 20 and db and the slope is minus 20 and db per decade here the slope is minus 20 db per Decade, previous case okay previous one that is for 1 by j omega the slope is minus 20 db per decade but here it is slope is minus 20 n db per decade if the line straight line is like this then it is plus 20 n db per decade but here the straight line is in this direction so the slope is minus 20 n db per decade and x axis is represented by log omega uh, actually yeah logarithmic omega okay log, log logarithm that is you know that log scale we are using here and uh, y axis is magnitude db here here y axis is pi okay and x axis is log omega so that you have to very carefully understand previous cases I didn't explain uh, uh, yeah x axis is logarithmic omega and y axis is magnitude in db for the magnitude representation for phase representation x axis is log omega and y axis is uh, pi phase angle now when you are coming to the phase angle of 1 divided by j omega raised to n is phase angle is minus 90 n degree so it will be you can see that from the zero this is a zero so you will go to the negative side and it is straight line with the 90 n degree now next we are going to see the basic factor is zero at the origin that is derivative factor that is j omega the log magnitude of the j omega in db is 
ट्वेंटी लॉग जे ओमेगा माइनर जे ओमेगा दैट इज ट्वेंटी लॉग ओमेगा इन डी बी वेन ओमेगा इज वन द मैग्नीट्यूड इन लॉग एट द मेस के जे ओमेगा इज गुड टू ट्वेंटी लॉग ओमेगा डी बी दैट इज ट्वेंटी लॉग वन वेन लॉग वन इज मीन्स इट इज जीरो डी बी वेन ओमेगा इज पॉइंट वन ट्वेंटी लॉग पॉइंट वन दैट इज इक्वल टू या Yeah, a twenty log point one. So again, here you can put one by ten. Okay, one by ten. So log one minus log ten. Log one is zero. Log ten with a minus minus sign. That is multiplied by twenty means minus twenty log ten. So log ten is nothing but one. So you are getting minus twenty dB. When omega is equal to ten, you are getting j omega with the twenty log ten is equal to plus twenty dB, and the phase angle j omega is a constant and equal to plus ninety degree. Now, when you are coming this j omega, and when you are comparing it with the one by j omega, uh, the plot of j omega is Exactly opposite to the plot of this. That means the slope will be in this directions. Okay, and the phase angle is plus ninety degree. So once you studied this, uh, the J omega can be obtained from this, taking all in opposite way. And even for a J instead of J omega raised to n is. Opposite to one by j omega n, so the this float is like this, okay, and uh, that slope is plus twenty n dB. In in this case, it will be plus twenty dB per decade, okay. So we'll see the plot. You can see the plot. It is exactly opposite. At the point one, it is minus twenty dB. Plus ten, it is plus twenty. And slope is plus twenty dB decay, and pi uh, angle is plus twenty plus ninety degree. Uh, J omega, if you are taking again, it is when you are representing J omega, and it is twenty and log omega. Uh, when omega is equal to one, it become twenty and log one. It is zero dB. When omega is point one, it is minus twenty and log ten. It is minus twenty and dB. When omega is equal to ten plus ten, it is twenty and log ten. It is plus twenty and dB, and uh, the phase angle is j omega n is constant equal to plus ninety n. So exactly opposite to the previous. So at point one you are getting minus twenty n. At at ten you are getting plus twenty n, and at uh, one you are getting uh, magnitude as zero with a slope of plus twenty n dB per decay. An angle pi is equal to plus ninety n degree. Okay, so that is about that. Now, yes. Now factors of the form k divided by j omega all square. Now the log magnitude of the factor is log twenty log. K divided by J omega magnitude R is equal to uh, yes. This R can be taken. Uh, yeah, yes. This is uh, a K divided by J omega R. It can be represented as twenty log K, and denominator. J omega R is there, so that is minus twenty R log omega. Okay, now when omega is one, the magnitude logarithmic magnitude of K of K divided by J omega R is equal to minus twenty R log one plus twenty log K. So log one become zero, so you will get a plus twenty log K. Plus twenty log k. When omega is point one, the magnitude logarithmic magnitude k divided by j omega raised to r is equal to 
മൈനസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ആർ ലോഗ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ആസ് ഫർ ദിസ് ഒമേഗ യു മൈനസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ആർ ലോഗ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ട്വൻറ്റി ലോഗ് കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ലോഗ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ എഗെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എസ് ലോഗ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ലോഗ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ലോഗ് വൺ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ ടെൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ലോഗ് വൺ മൈനസ് ലോഗ് ടെൻ സോ ലോഗ് വൺ ഇസ് സീറോ മൈനസ് ലോഗ് ടെൻ സോ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഹാസ് ലോഗ് ടെൻ ലോഗ് ടെൻ ഈസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ദിസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് വൺ so here so here minus 20 r log 0.1 log 0.1 become 1 so you are getting log 0.1 is minus 1 so when you multiplying it to minus 20 r you are getting plus 20 r and 20 log k depending on the k you are getting that value when omega is equal to 10 the magnitude become minus 20r log 10 plus 20 log k so here log 10 is 1 so plus 1 so here minus 20r plus 20 log k db now the magnitude plot of k divided by omega r is a straight line with a slope of minus 20r db per decade when it is point 1 you are getting yeah plus 20r the 20 log k is a straight line yeah uh, 20r when omega is equal to 10 you are getting minus 20r so point 1 to 10 that is a decade in that case you can see that the slope is minus 20r db per decade and having a magnitude of magnitude of 20 log k db when and have a magnitude of 20 log k db when omega is equal to 0 okay as shown in the figure uh, now plot now the plot has a value of 0 db at the frequency of now you you are getting it as yes yeah this is this is your uh, minus 20 r log omega plus 20 k equal to 0 when this plot become zero that means that where it is cutting that time what is the k value we have to find it so when you are equating it 20 r log omega is equal to 20 log k uh yes so yeah then here log omega is equal to uh, 2020 will be cancelled so you will get it as uh, log omega is equal to log k divided by r now omega is equal to anti log that you are getting it as k raised to 1 by r so here what you can see a 20 r log omega is equal to 20 log k now r log omega is equal to log k log omega is equal to log k 
divided by R yes now if you are taking the anti log then omega is equal to when you are doing like this it is equal to k in raised to 1 by r it's a general formula now the angle contribution of factor k is zero and the angle contribution of the factor k is zero we already analyze when k is and 1 by j omega raised to r is equal to 1 by j omega r is equal to minus 90 degree r at any frequency the phase direction is simply a horizontal line at an angle of minus 20 90 degree r k divided by j omega r for k the angle is zero 1 by j omega the angle is minus minus 90 degree by r now when you are plotting it the phase angle is phase angle x axis log w y axis is pi in that you will get minus 90 r degree there you are getting a straight line and when you are plotting the magnitude you can see that magnitude in db you can see that the cutting is happening at a yeah when cutting is happening at k raised to 1 by r omega at k raised to 1 by r the this logarithmic plot is become zero and at one at one when uh, omega is equal to one uh, you can see that omega is equal to one it is omega is equal to one it is equal to 20 log k but omega is equal to one the magnitude is 20 log k and the slope is minus 20 rdb per decade and that is represented